<laughs> Jumbo, how about Yako? That's hello, how are you doing? I'm Paul Renner. I lead photographic tours to Kenya and Tanzania. I uh, was born and grew up in Tanzania. I speak fluent Swahili. The most positive feedback I get is, Paul, that's the best thing I've ever done in my life. And th th I love hearing that because that means I've done my job correctly. And uh, to have so many people turn around and come back within a year or two, it's just been unbelievable. They learn a lot, they get excited about photography. A lot of them have went over there just thinking, well, I've got a point and shoot camera and that's fine. And they get into photography, they love it. And then they want to go back again. Well, I remember when I was really small, seeing a few snakes, some turtles, lizards, and then uh, my dad took me out in the bush and we started seeing bigger animals, uh, gazelle, antelope. Then I met a man named Simeon. He would take me hunting. He showed me the ways of the wild, taught me Swahili. So I speak Swahili like an African rather than somebody who's learned it in a school and learned it um, through teachers in that. Having learned the behavior, the habits of these animals, that's been very helpful because you know where they live at each time of the year, where they move to. Um, that's probably the basic uh, advantage that I have is just knowing where the animals are and then having the skills to know what time of day do they go out, what, what do they like to eat, what do they like to, uh, what, what areas do they like to be in, and uh, just the habitats, when they're mating, what do they do when they're mating, or when they're uh, looking for new food, where do they go? The game that we're gonna see depends on the location that we're in. Um, if you're in the Serengeti, you're gonna see a lot of wildebeest, zebras, some elephants, a uh, big variety of the plains animals, a lot of gazelle, antelope. And if you're in um, Samburu area in northern Kenya, you're going to also see Besa oryx, uh, reticulated giraffe, gravy zebra, blue Somali ostrich, blue neck Somali ostrich, and the Gernuk, which is the giraffe gazelle. Um, those are specific to those areas, those desert areas. And so then when we go to Rwanda, we go there to see the mountain gorillas. You're gonna see millions of animals out there. You're gonna take thousands of pictures. I've had people shoot 20, 25,000 pictures on one of these trips. The one thing that I have to caution people about is you'll fall in love with Africa. Um, I can almost guarantee it. People just fall in love with Africa. It gets in your blood and you feel like you wanna go back.